Hello, 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 it's Dolly. Welcome to my channel, Scrap It On The Go. This process video is for off the board. Yes, you've been seeing a post today for the month of July from Crystal and then us ladies that have been joining in. However, the last Wednesday of the month is our normal posting. So there's going to be lots of ladies joining today. Crystal thought it would be a nice twist that she selected an inspiration piece for us. And then on top of that, I selected a layout that I would like to scrap lift that just reminded me of the inspiration piece. Then which took me into looking at my stash and both these inspiration pieces reminded me of cocoa vanilla happiness that I have in my stash from 2019 I have been hoarding this collection because this is the first time I ever got a complete collection from Coco Vanilla. So anyway I've taken that blue kind of marbly paper and I gutted it and then this next like ombre mixed media um, print that starts from the outside works in and kind of has that cloudy look in the middle. I trim a quarter inch off of two sides after I cut off the branding strip. And then I'll take that paper and use my ATG adhesive tape and secure it to the frame right there. So just a little bit peeks out. Now I'm gonna take this other paper from the Coca Vanilla and I'm going to create a banner. And then I decided, well, why not just cut, I mean, cut that strip and then cut it in half and only use half of that sheet to create like a fish tail banner, the illusion that it goes all the way through. Um, I decided that it was still too wide based on the sketch that I am scrap lifting. They really don't have the fishtail banner peeking out on either side of the photographs. You just really see it at the top and at the bottom. So that's why I chose to cut that paper in half and then create my fishtail banner. So I still have a little piece left over because if you know Coco Vanilla, it's a little bit more expensive and it's rare to come by until just recently. Now the big box stores are carrying this product. I think uh, Cherry on Top and maybe Scrapbook.com. I'm not sure. But anyway, back to the layout. Now, I'm going to have the illusion on the side that I have big strips of paper when in fact all I've done is taken two pattern paper, this pink polka dot, or no, I think it's X's or crosses, something like that. I don't have a layout in front of me. And then I take the polka dot one there and I just cut strips and I tuck them in on the side of these photographs going down. Once I'm completed with that, then I cut a strip of the pink, yeah, it's the pink um, like crisscross there. And I cut that a half an inch. And then I take another strip of that same paper and cut it just a little bit thinner, like maybe three-fourths of an inch. I'm going to go ahead and make a fishtail banner here. And then I'm going to bring in that other strip. We're going to see that in just a second here. I'm a little bit ahead of myself. Again, if you watch my video, I don't do measuring. I just keep eyeballing it, and I keep trimming until I get it to the desire length or width that I want. So there's that pink strip. So the opposite side is that bokeh type pattern paper. Now here is that polka dot. It's a beautiful like navy blue, really deep navy blue. And then I'm going to use my EK punch here that does a real tiny scallop. And that's going to act as another layer under the strip to the left of the photograph that I just covered. The one that I just already cut two strips. And I use a wet adhesive glue to, to adhere those three strips together before I secure the whole grouping to the foundation of 
this layout. All right, while I'm ahead of myself, I would like to remind you that I will have all the ladies links to their channel or video that are playing along today listed in my description box below. So be sure to go check them out. Now back to my layout. So see, I have those three layers together. I haven't yet secured that grouping yet to my foundation page, but I'm going to move on to embellishing around the three selfie photographs of my husband and I. Now I fiddle a little bit with these flowers trying to figure out the arrangement. So while you watch me do that, let me just give you a little background of these photographs. I just recently did a layout of of four photographs of my father taken 10 years apart at different seasons of the year. And that got me thinking about doing something similar of selfies that my husband and I have taken. So I found these three and they're each five years apart. And so the top one was taken in 2007 and we had only been married a couple of years. The next one is 2012 and and the last one was taken in 2018. And in the die cut pack was these two, are, are these two words welded together that says happy times. And then I'm gonna get out my alpha letters and get the number five. And my complete title will be happy times five times Five. I thought that was a really cute title. All right, and then after that, you'll see me bring in two tassel die cuts that'll go on the strip to the left, and I will secure them by poking holes at the top and using two pink brads. And then I'm going to add some butterflies and some hearts and some crystal enamel triangles or gems, whatever you would like to call them. And I'm going to use Nouveau spray and do some splatters. And then my layout will be complete. All right, be sure that when you hop along to each one of the ladies channels that you give them a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber subscribe to their channel but the reason why we want you to give a thumbs up is it brings traffic to each of one of, to each of our channels and it lets YouTube know that people like our channel which will allow other people that you and I don't know but our scrapbookers and provide them inspiration to document their memories in a fun, creative way because that's what this community is all about, is documenting those memories because you are leaving behind history. All right, back to the layout. As you can tell, I added those crystal gems to that strip of paper on the left-hand side now I'm going to add the butterflies, so there'll be one by the word happy times, one over by the middle photograph, and then one in the lower left-hand side flowers. And then, like I said, I'll bring in, I'll do some splatters using the new, Nuva Mica Mist. I think I forgot to mention that earlier when I was explaining my layout. All right, I hope that you all have enjoyed seeing the post a day from off the board from all the wonderful, talented ladies. And I hope that it's inspiring you to use your Pinterest account to scrapbook those memories. And if that's not inspiring you, I hope all of our layout, 
all of the layouts that we've posted on YouTube are inspiring you. And the awesome thing about the YouTube is that you can go back at your leisure time and replay and replay. And you can stop it if you want to learn new techniques or scrap lift us to the T using your products. It'll still look different because you probably aren't going to have the exact same products that we have or maybe the photographs that you're documenting will require different colors. All right, we'll see you next time.